everyone and welcome to my May wrap up. The first book I read was Weird Ants by Sean David Hutchison and I gave this a 5 stars as it was very interesting and I felt like I could actually relate to the characters. The story is about Henry who recently lost his boyfriend to suicide and as he's dealing with these emotions he's also getting kidnapped by aliens and they give him an ultimatum they tell him that the end of the earth is coming and they tell him the exact date and they give him a button that he can press to stop the world from ending it's a really emotional book and i have to say out of trigger warning for suicide and potential rape in this book the second book I read was The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This book was very emotional and very true to life. For some reason I just felt like reading contemporaries this month. So I picked it up and finally read it as or I listened to it as an audiobook. And I gotta say that the narrator did a great job. So I'm sure everyone knows what this book is about already because it's highly acclaimed. But for a basic summary, the book handles the topic of police brutality. The main character, Star, and Kelly, one of her long lost best friends, get stopped by the police and Kelly ends up dead by the hands of the police officer. The book handles um, all of Star's emotions after all of this, and you get to see the injustices of the American law system as this book really is true to life and it shows you the horror of, of what people have actually experienced. This book highlights all of the bad things that actually happen within the justice system and I think it's a really important read and it's a subject that needs to be discussed throughout the world, not only in America. So I appreciate the book for actually dealing with something that's hard. I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars due to the reason that I didn't feel like Star's character was completely developed. I feel like everyone around her was really, really good, but the main character that to drive the plot forwards just fell a bit flat but I still think the book was great. The third book I read was The Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. I give this book a 3 out of 5 star. It was an average read. It's about a pirate princess who purposely gets captured by the enemy to find out where the secret treasure is that they're holding hiding or a part of the map that they're trying to find. It was an okay storyline. It wasn't anything fantastic. It was just an average read but I do feel like I will pick up the second book, The Daughter of the Siren Queen. Queen? Queen? The, da the Daughter of the Siren Queen. It's not a very unique story I would say. It's very similar to like um, Pirates of the Caribbean, for example, the movies. The next book I read was Shatter Me by Tahar Mafi. So I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. I really, really enjoyed it, but it was. I thought that the plot was a bit too fast at times, especially in the beginning. The book is about this girl that anyone she touches dies. That's a basic summary, and that's all I knew before going into this book. So I feel like I I feel like you don't need anything more. So the next book is We Are Okay by Nina Lacour. This is about a girl that loses her grandpa, which leads her to shutting her best friend out. I gave this book a four out of five stars, as it was in very it was a very interesting concept of. Maybe you don't know people as well as you thought you knew, or maybe you never know someone completely. It was very interesting, that's why I gave it a 4. 
stars. On to the next one. Yeah. So for the last book that I read in May was My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Warga. Warga? By Jasmine Warga. This book is about a girl that seeks out a suicide partner and finds one in a guy. I think you can guess where this is going. I had quite high hopes for this book as it deals with suicide and depression. However, I was really disappointed by the ending and by the message the book seemed to be conveying. If you want to know more, read my Goodreads review. I just didn't approve with the way the books handle things. So I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars. As I was still intrigued throughout the book. All the way until the end where I just wanted to slam everything in my way. And just be like, how can you do this? It's not realistic. So that is it for all the books I read in May. I hope you enjoyed this video. And have a good day. Bye.